Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Is dog, and then you'll get all the info on Wicket and Pixie. That's right. What was that, Wicket on your lap? This is Wiki Woo. Well, that's not his. His his name is not Woo. What's a Wiki Woo Woo puppy? You, it's, not, hun, it's not Wiki Woo. He's a Wiki Woo Woo puppy. <sighs> okay. So. Wiki Woo. Anyway. Wiki Woo Woo. I thought uh, since Ponzi is wanting to learn more about the Mac and the software available, we'd show her the new versions of <laughs> iLife Wiki Woo. 08 and iWork 08. These two were just released today. Thank goodness Lord Cat went out to pick them up. These are going to be in our, uh, or used specifically Wait, at, the, like it. at the Gnome Next conference, which is coming up in how many days now? Two? Well, what? <laughs> a day and a half. A day and a half. So we're going to use Keynote uh, and, and a couple of the other packages on here to, to kind of keep things going. So in in the, the the idea behind these suites is basically this is the closest thing Apple has to uh, like a Microsoft Office competitor I work but to tell you the truth in my opinion uh, the only app in I work that's worth getting is keynote and that's largely because of the transitions like if you've seen a PowerPoint presentation you know that people can't build PowerPoint presentations very well and going from one slide to another is usually kind of crappy yeah. are you happy the dog is happy okay Anyway, so I've installed uh, both iWork and iLife on here. iLife is more of the personal side uh, of, of the Mac, and that includes... And still life. Yeah, well, iPhotos 08, iMovie, GarageBand, iWeb, and iDVD. The nice thing about iMovie, the new version of it, is that it's finally a library, or has a better library feature, so it's closer to iPhoto in the sense that it'll help you organize videos like iPhoto helps you organize photos. And, more importantly, it supports that movie format, the ABC HD that I've been complaining about with the Sony camera, it this handles it. So I, I, I don't have to I couldn't get any software to work on Windows with the ABC HD format. So I can finally use my HD camera, but specifically with the Mac. Um, I've used uh, Keynote in the past and I think we're gonna be using the Keynote presentation at GNOME Dex too because the flipping between one slide and another is very elegant in the presentation. But uh, they've improved numbers, which is their Excel equivalent, and and really calling it an Excel equivalent doesn't, it's that's that's really not the the right thing to say, in the sense that um, it certainly has spreadsheet functionality, but it's it's more it's geared towards presenting numbers in a graphical format rather than just plain old numbers. So charts, images, and more intelligent tables, a flexible canvas, importing and exporting in Excel. Uh, an interactive print view, and then of course uh, templates. Nice thing is they come with video templates. Uh, these all these new uh, versions, and maybe the older versions did as well. But you can see this is a this is a spreadsheet. Mm, but, that looks very nice. Yeah, exactly. Automatically, right away, you've got a much easier way of not just flipping through styles uh, in the in the, the sidebar type of format that you've seen in iTunes and in Apple's. Now this is going to kind of become their navigation du jour. Uh, but specifically in this particular area, we're able to change numbers. This does not look like a spreadsheet. It's no. very well presented. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole idea behind Apple doing these products is that specifically these t typical quote-unquote office products, word processing, spreadsheet, presentation, they really are uh, focusing more on the overall experience of design and then having the functionality, of course, built into it. Um, there are this, right now, this word... Word document. Listen to me. This word processing document is uh, opened in uh, the what they call Pages, which is the word equivalent, the word processor. Uh, there are some things about it that you know are certainly different. But if you go to the preferences for this, it's only got two sheets for preferences, so it's not overloaded with all sorts of features mm -hmm. that people aren't going to use. Kind of like you know Outlook 2007, which is driving me nuts. Oh, there's too many features and they're not being discovered easily. So they've really clear they've really cleared up a lot uh, with with pages. Some of the features they they say, "Ooh, this is new," like the automatic formatting of like tables and and all these things. Some Microsoft Word users have had for years. So some of the things are just now playing catch up. Pages. This is the really the second version they've ever released. But the bottom line is, is really emphasizing design more than anything else. How easy is it to move everything that you have now, like in Word or in Google Docs, to this? Um, 
Well, it should be a document format, uh, I, I'd imagine. You can create a PDF, you can export a PDF, you can export in Word, uh, and of course the lingua franca of word processing is RTF, or rich text format. Um, I'd imagine, I don't know the Pages compatibility, I believe Pages has already, already had uh, Microsoft Office compatibility. I don't think that you can really release a word processing application without that, just because it's so ubiquitous. Um, so the, the the thing that I really can't wait to, to show off at GnomeDex is specifically the Keynote application, because I built the Keynote app. It uh, uh, this is like the PowerPoint equivalent. I built a, a Keynote deck or slide presentation uh, when I went to speak at Digital River, and I couldn't actually, unfortunately, use it because I didn't have the right uh, converter, but they've got just just amazingly elegant templates that you can build around. I mean, everything, again, goes based on design. And the transitions between one slide and another are, are just as nice, just as nice. Uh, to duplicate here, um, go in and see if I can change the action between one and the other. So you can just everything is basically alpha blended, so it's very very smooth. I mean, it's as deep if you can you, if you can do it in PowerPoint, you can certainly do it. I would say as easily, uh, if not more easily, inside a keynote. But it's essentially a, a presentation format that has a lot more finish to it. When you see a keynote presentation, you know it's keynote. People freak out. They go, "How'd you get PowerPoint to do that?" Because they're so ingrained with thinking PowerPoint's the only way to do things. And there's, I've got Microsoft Office for the Mac installed on here, but I can tell you any any slide presentation that I use, I'm going to use Keynote because you can also. And this is how I save my work. I also exported everything into a PowerPoint format so that I could get it to work on a PC because you can't run any of the iSuite on the on the PC. So in the, in these new so versions, it moves back and forth easily. Yeah, I mean. You're not going to have, you can export it in PowerPoint. You can't run a keynote presentation in PowerPoint. It's a completely different structure. It's a completely different type of structure and operating system altogether. But you can export for functionality transitions. But they improved in keynote. They've got uh, different themes, of course. Um, smart builds and flexible A to B animations. M much more flexible than the first one. Although they were good in the first one. Um, and then, of course, the, the nice thing about being on this and I don't even think PowerPoint really has this as alpha blending. And that just means that it's smoother, less jaggies in presentations and fonts, mm -hmm. which makes it really, really nice. Um, in the iLife, uh, going back to the iLife suite, because I, I mean, there, there's, of course, the iWork is going to be more for your office apps. And the iLife is something that you, know, you just want your computer to do. So like GarageBand could already do podcasting. Um, now it's got, a bit, I, I guess it's got, I uh, haven't even you know, had a chance to even launch it yet because I've been so busy with GNOME decks. Um, but it's it's basically taken everything that it was doing before in GarageBand and making it all that much stronger. Um, that's the one thing that impressed me most about GarageBand is that it's the one application that I wish I had built into Windows, um, where you can just press a button, you're starting to record, you can instantly publish it to iTunes, or you can publish a podcast. I've it, been hearing you say that a lot. I wish that this could be used on in PC. Windows. Yeah. So like this and Cam Twist. And yep. It's what funny. Are your favorites? This is, it just flies in the face of a lot of what people say is they say, well, there's no software on the Mac. I'm like, well, then you haven't been looking because there's fantastic freeware and shareware and, you know, just full on apps like, you know, well, really this like free, big though. time. This no, this was definitely expensive. not free. This, this is end up, these two together were like 200 bucks. And how much is the equivalent of these? On Windows? on Windows? Some people would say that, well, it would cost you for a good photo manager, because uh, now it comes with Windows, but not as robust as this, but it could cost you, well, free all the way up. Uh, probably for something like, well, Picasa is free, and mm -hmm. Picasa is still better than iPhoto mm -hmm. in many, many ways. Um, although I've got to bust Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs says, oh, it's full Web 2.0, but you can only share to a dot Mac web gallery. You can't put it on Flickr. You can't put it on your favorite service. That so is so not, not Web 2.0. Right. Yeah. It's, web it's, 2.0 means web friendly, right? Uh, well, if you were to define it, it basically means that data can be shared easily. You're not locked into silos and brands. And this is very much not that. Um, to have an equivalent movie editor like this, it would cost you between uh, around $50 on up. Um, GarageBand would probably cost you another 20 to 30 iWeb certainly another twenty to thirty. So suddenly you start to add up the equivalent apps for the for Windows, and it's going to cost you at same. least eighty dollars, if not more, okay. just to get the same 
kind of experience and hope to get the same kind of experience. So the fact that they put it together for 80 is actually a really good deal. 96. Yeah. And then compare this, compare iWork to the office suite that'll cost you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars mm. just to have simple presentation or spreadsheet or document editing. Yeah. So they, the they fact that they're selling it for, yeah, $79 is is an amazing, amazing deal. And in and, and many ways, people say, well, yeah, but what about Publisher and what about even, even Outlook to a certain degree? Well, I would say that Pages is certainly a, a good contender to Publisher in terms of, of laying things out. And, of course, you can go, some people are mentioning some open source apps, and those are just fine as well. I don't know if you get as much elegance in open source apps, but certainly there's OpenOffice. That's free. That's open source. That gives you the compatibility with your office applications like spreadsheets and documents, Google Docs. Uh, there are other online uh, office suites that are certainly free. But, I mean, this is like gar GarageBand is a full-on music track manager. I mean, I've, I, I just, I really, like right there up front, create a new podcast episode. Save as Ponzi. This is as simple as it gets. So it loads up everything that you possibly need with the built-in mic. You basically, you know the record button. Uh, please select or enable software. Oh, I got to enable the podcast track, I guess. Um, so now I can go in and mix each particular one. Now you're talking, you get the wavelength, blah, 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 blah. You hit, when you're done, stop, press play or pause. So it stops recording. And then in GarageBand, it's as simple as share. Send podcast to iTunes, send podcast to web, export podcast to disc, burn song to CD. How much wow. simpler can that get? It's really like four steps. That's it. It's not even, I mean, it, took some, it takes you no time at all. And there is no equivalent that, come, that Microsoft even comes close to offering in this sense. Mm -hmm. Not free, not in office or anything. I mean, they have, no, they have no iLife suite. Microsoft has none. They've tried, and they've, it's like comparing this to anything that, that they've provided is nothing. It, you, can't, you can't compare it. It's like, it's like Starbucks and Pete's. You just can't compare the two. I okay, bet, we're not going to get into that. Right, okay, we're not getting into that. But anyway, what I'm saying is that, you know, I think Apple has done a, a pretty good job with letting the computer and the Mac kind of leap past this idea of, like, well, it's just, there's no software, there's, it's relegated, you can't use it, uh, and really made it functional and useful for business applications with panache, as well as home applications, you know, with style. This is a full-on management system for your digital lifestyle. It's not 100% perfect, but, you know, what is? You know, of course, there are upgrades and new versions and whatnot. So I think it's a pretty solid update. This is the first version of the iSuites that I've even bothered to purchase. I didn't buy the original iWork because I just didn't think it was worth buying other than Keynote um, just because the transitions were so elegant. But now that this is the, the iSuite uh, or the iLife suite seems to be a lot more robust. So they've really done a lot, I think, really for the average user and for the user who's just a power user just wants to get in and start doing this stuff without having to mess with inelegant software. They've really done a fantastic job. That's, that's in my opinion, though. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. So we're going to be using Keynote at Gnome Dex with the transitions. So I'm just curious as to how many other people out there have, have dropped Microsoft Office and, and gone with either, if they're on the Mac, if they've gone with the iLife I, uh, or iWork, or if they've gone open source or have another software. Did the, new, did the new iMovie overwrite the old iMovie HD? I believe it is a full-on replacement. Let me check, because it's iDVD. It's not iMovie, it's iDVD. Unless it's a separate app. Oh, it is. Wait, hang on. You're right, you're right, you're right. Gosh, sorry. So there's a D. So they made it a separate app. That's great. That's actually, I'm fine with that. So I how many can I put this on? How many of the Macs can we put this on? Ah, here we go, here we go. So they have iMovie, the new version, mm -hmm. and then they also put iMovie HD in a, a subdirectory, mm -hmm. the previous version, so they backed it up. So the new iMovie is going to be different from the old iMovie, but they, they give you both apps, and that's actually pretty smart. And the fact that someone was asking for it, um, well, someone's going to want to know. So this is the, the default new video library, Super fast movie making. Oh, the AVC HD. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. I mean, you remember, like, way back when the videos, when I was first showing them off and recording, this camera records to the hard drive in the AVC HD format, and virtually no software, could, I couldn't get it to work on Windows. Even though it says AVC HD, I trust that Apple is going to make it work much, much better, so I can finally shoot, and more importantly, look at this, view and share anywhere. Publish movies directly to YouTube, the .Mac web gallery, I, directly to iTunes, iPod, iPhone, or Apple TV. 
directly to YouTube. So now I can now I can shoot great video either you know in the built-in webcam or with the ABC HD a high definition camera and then instantly share bam right in there. So they, they've really I mean I'm telling you they've really done outdone themselves. I mean, I don't know I haven't I mean in terms of features I haven't actually gone in and used it but if given every experience that I've had with the general software this is going to sell more copies of OS 10 and and a apples than anything else whether it's the new iMac people are going to see this iLife and go wow I wish my Windows computer could do that so I I just I think that the more you start getting into this cuz you've been wanting to know how do I get it to YouTube and I can't get the the video right and how do I do this yeah. this makes you're done. it easy you're done. You just hit record. You're done. It's as simple as that. I mean, that's 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 that that's as easy as it gets. New project. You know what? I should take it with me um, to Hawaii with Monica and see if we can do it ourselves. You should be able to. You take the. We should uh, do it without you and Andrew and see if we can do it. I th movies and stuff. I think that, I don't know Hawaii. if this license the license. I think we got a family license for this, so we should be able to do that. Um, yeah, this is. I think that. Uh, they're, this is the new iPhoto here that I dragged in the front. Uh, I think they're they're really on their way to making a big impression in terms of the personal publishing space. I and iWeb, unfortunately, in, with a dot, I am not buying a dot .Mac service. I think it's a waste of money. Even though they recently they just upgraded it from a gigabyte to ten gigabytes, I just I still think it's a a, a colossal waste of money. Like it's like a hundred a year, right around there. Well, I'm a little less than that certainly, but. Uh, it's uh, they've got like the the iWeb, which makes it you know if you wanted to build web pages, but I think the world has kind of gone uh, beyond building web pages in general, at least from what I could see, uh, you know what they're what they really want to see uh, in a web editor. Uh, but what are you looking at? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, but if you ever wanted to design a web page, certainly the iWeb application is is one of the the more elegant ways of laying things out, and some people would argue and say, "No, I'm a purist. I I still code personally in in Notepad, like just plain old HTML, raw HTML." But to be able to build, um, let's see here, oh, this is me to update things. You can go in and choose like what kind of template do you want to upload to your to your web space. So if you like, uh, you know, if you, if you've got an idea about what kind of content you want to create, it's as simple as there's the graphics. Click here, edit the text. And then when you're done, uh, you should be able to uh, publish it directly, or of course save it out and upload it at some point. And they make they really make it that simple. Like I said, I almost wish that this was a little more powerful. This is something that I'm not likely to use because it says publish to dot .mac, publish all to dot .mac, publish to a folder. So it doesn't set up Google AdSense. Holy cow! No. -uh. Yes. Look at this. Oh my God. Set, set up, up a personal, personal domain. domain. That's my oh opinion. my god! Holy cow! Oh my god! They're gonna make a killing! You can sign up for AdSense! That's smart. That is unreal. That is slicker than snot. Okay, I'm done. Okay, f sorry. Bye bye. Slicker than snot. All right. Now I'm. I'm. That 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 totally made my night. Oh my god! That is amazing. That is that is just too cool. That is just cool. Of course, apparently I can't talk about boogers with my wife, so I guess I'm going to end the podcast now. Oh, by the way, uh, if anybody wants to talk more about the interesting things they found in iLife or iWork, maybe some shortcuts or tips or tricks, uh, swing by the chat room or leave a comment. Uh, of course, we're always there, live.perillo.com. See you later.